Here, what's up, Giants fans, hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers, fans of Philly Notion. I hope you all are in the building. Y'all were in the building last night. Uh, Ash Money hey. in here as well. <laughs> Let's just get right to it, man. Where's the trash <laughs> bag? <at? laughs> you said you hey. with a trash bag over your head, man. What's happening? Hey, bro? hey, listen, listen, <laughs> listen. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Salute the Giants Nation. I can't even cap today, gang. Listen, let's go and warm this hot L for the Eagle Nation because y'all know the vibes. Salute to the Giants Nation. I know I came up in here big trolling, y'all, and I got some crow to eat today. So, hey, without further ado, I know what y'all I know what y'all on today. Y'all up in here popping bottles celebrating like y'all don't want a Super Bowl game or something. So, I ain't got nothing to say. Listen, we man. We trash bag, gang. Listen, all those say real quick. First of all, shout out to everybody in the chat. Sunday, Mac the Giants fan, Lamar Santos, Miz is in here, Bryson Sports Talk, who I'm pretty sure is an Eagles fan, Nick the Wick in here as well, Bark Nasty, David AV. Listen, man, for those of you that don't know, first of all, props to Philly Notion. And he's done this last year as well, man. And me the same to him. We got a good uh YouTube relationship going on here. If I lose, we yes, I go on his. If he loses, he comes on mine. You he knows the vibe, so props to Philly Notion for always fulfilling that part of the bargain. This one but hurts, listen, this last one night this man <laughs> came on here talking real hot. What well, listen, I only had like two predictions, right? And both of them came true. I said the Eagles are not gonna drop more than 25 on us because I got faith in my defense, and that Xavier McKinney is gonna pick Hurts off. The Eagles Sheesh. dropped seven. Sheesh. Sheesh. Seven. <laughs> And Jalen Hurts threw three picks, and then there was a fumble recovery. I don't know if it was on Hurts or if it was on the receiver. And basically four turnovers from the Eagles offense. And I don't want any Giants fan or even Eagles fan to play this down because the Eagles have a top 10 offense. The Eagles offense is actually ranked seventh in the league, so they're no joke on the offensive side of the football. And in the past two weeks, they've been the number one offense in the league. They dropped 30 two weeks ago and 40 last week. So this defense showed up and did its thing, man. But I'm hey. not going to talk too much. Let me hear hey, you, listen. Notion. Let, let me go and give y'all the scoop because, again, I ain't got nothing but, you know, straight up respect for the Giants Nation today. Y'all came out there. Y'all wanted the game. I, I sent you the, the uh, message on Twitter, Hub. I was like, listen, this is the moment of truth right here. Who wants this game more? Honestly, it ain't like your offense came out there, you know, all electric or did something. Y'all left Hell it in the balance for us to do something with it. But this offense today from the Eagles was straight up trash. Jalen Hurts, oh, yeah, we're going to acknowledge that. That man played trash also. Straight up three picks. I don't care what quarterback you are. You ain't going to win games trying to throw it in a double and triple coverage. Hey, listen, y'all stepped up. Your defense or stood solid today. I can't knock that. I know a lot of us Eagle fans right now, everybody trying to look at Jalen Rager because of his drops and all of that and some of his effort today. No, 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 no. I ain't even going to sit here and let my quarterback slide today. I got expectations from my quarterback. And from what I saw today, yeah, no, nah, that wasn't it. I do like that we did try to give some fight at the end. Hey, call it what you want to call it. We was, trying to, we was trying to make a move. And then, of course, Boston Scott right on time with a fumble. Oh, that took the life out of us. So y'all definitely wanted it more again. I got a salute to the whole Giants nation. I thought y'all was tapped out. Evidently, Freddy Kitchens, whoever had y'all calling plays today, y'all outworked us in a time of possession. Absolutely disgusting to watch as an Eagles fan. So I can't do nothing today, but salute y'all. I ain't going to sit here and say y'all a real deal and then like y'all going somewhere. But definitely, hey, y'all put us in the trash can today where we belong because five and seven, oh, yeah, the steam then got sucked out of the ocean today, especially oh, watching man. that effort. So, hey, we got to hey, figure it out, all, people, man. First off, we got problems to figure out as well, but we're going to talk about those problems a little later. We're going to celebrate first because let's not act as if this Giants win came as like a perfect game or anything. It was anything but that. But a shout out to CJ in here, Evan in here as well. Yo, Raj, let me hear you, Ash. Let me hear you get on this Eagles team, bro. Oh, man. Where do I start? Where do I start? Oh, my Get your goodness. rocks off, Ash. You already know oh, it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, it's because Philly just came in here last night and we're just talking so spicy. I mean, just so spicy. Listen, 
Remember, Let's... Jalen Hurts has the potential to be better than the show so, wants. I was just about to. <laughs> uh, you don't even got. You don't even got to say, man. But um, let's just get something out the way. That was probably one of the most ugliest games, most hard fought down to the wire games I've seen in a while. Listen, we we really should have blown you guys out. We really should have blown y'all up the water, but this offense, <laughs> this offense, man, it still you know it still has its problems, right? Um, and the the offensive line, you know, it was pretty solid today. I'm not gonna. It, like there was times, it's, but for Barkley, man, Barkley didn't have nothing to do at all. Saquon Barkley couldn't go nowhere. He had that one big run. The rest of the game, it was wraps for Saquon. Um, but yeah, man, I mean, Jalen Rager, we we constantly get reminded that the Eagles took Jalen Rager over Justin Jefferson yet again. Sickening. Uh, Jalen Hurts. What? During the I game, know. there was a pass to Arcega Whiteside, and I, lit- I literally said because I was calling him, I'm like, I'm like, I forgot that man was on the Eagles, bro. I thought he would have been off by now. Hey, yeah, man. hey, he did come through with a play, but of course, none of that garbage mattered because, again, and hey, listen, we couldn't get nothing right on offense. So, y'all's defense came to play today, hands down. I was, I mean, I was trying yeah. to tell y'all, man, you make Jalen Hurts throw the ball, it's a different ball game, and especially how we how we confuse our, our, our passing schemes and how we disguise ourselves. I knew Jalen Hurts, if we made him throw the ball, we were, he was going to have a tough time. And you know what? When After that third pick, what I say, Hub, I was like, yeah, they about to run the ball the whole time. They and then, no, the after the third the pick, drive. and this is where I was confused by the Eagles offense, that one drive, they ran it the entire drive and it was successful, but then after that, it's like they went back to the pass and I'm like, Eagles, we can't stop your run and the read option was killing us, but you guys went back to the pass. I was really questioning that. Yeah, yeah that, I, that's play calling, bro. Because we marched it all the way down again. What we was doing was running the ball, and y'all got to the end zone and they decided we was going to try to throw it, throw a play to Boston Scott. And y'all sure did pick that thing off right in the end zone. Again, some of that is play you calling. You know what? Listen, when you guys got down there, I was like, oh, they're going to run it three times. They're going to get a touchdown. And you run it. You ran it once with Jalen Hurts. It was stopped, and I was like, "I think we'll try it again." Like they, they're gonna get it. But then two pass plays in a row, and I was and just listen, like, man, "That doesn't make sense." Shout out! Hey, big shout out to the Giants defense for this one, man. Mm-hmm. Big shout out because yeah, the Giants be lost to Adoree and Darnay. Yeah, and they we lost our second corner down. and the corner that got the first pick. And they were still the Giants were still shutting stuff down. So hey, listen, big shout out again. That's Giants even more people. respect. Y'all was y'all. We came into this game, y'all were already depleted. Y'all didn't have Kadarius Tony, Adore Jackson went out. Like, we were supposed to take advantage of this game. And y'all again came out there with the will to win to win the day. Y'all played for Freddie Kitchens. I think y'all need to get that man an extension. Go ahead and sign them. No, 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 no. Okay, let's chill right there. Let's chill. Let's chill. <laughs> we still scored 13 points at the end of the day. Hold up now. Chill, chill out, chill out. <laughs> Hey, but uh, Galladay was targeted, though. How many targets yeah. did Galladay get today? I think, I think he, he had like six. Six I or seven. I think he was y'all's top target. So, something's changed. some work. I don't know what it is, but y'all definitely did it today. Yeah, man. Go ahead. Hey, look, well, let, me, let me hear your just entire thoughts on this uh, this this game by Freddie Kitchens here, man, specifically. Well, Kitchens. I mean, Freddie Kitchens, I mean, he, he do, he's done some stuff that Jason Garrett hasn't done, and he's also done some stuff that – you know, Jason Garrett still does. Trying to be cute on that first drive when we got the ball back. I forgot who was the who was the end around to, but that like literally killed us. Right? I believe we probably if we wouldn't did that, I believe we could have scored that drive. And um, you know, just running continue to run the ball and choosing to run the ball when it's not working, right? Now I get you wanna imp- you wanna implement the run, but at some point if it's not working, you can't continue to do that. You can't continue to do it. Saquon, like I said, only had one play, one big game for the whole game, and that was it, right? But literally, this game should have been a blowout, and I get it. This is the first week of Freddie. Like, maybe Freddie Kitchens is installing something new. Maybe, maybe you know, maybe that's why we started off so slow. You know, maybe he is installing a new philosophy or a new playbook, a new scheme. We don't know, right? 
The next week, oh my gosh, we go down to Miami. So this 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 offense is definitely going to have to step up as well when you're facing. Uh, um, this Miami Xavier team won four Howard. games in a row, man. Xavier Howard and, and and Byron Jones, and you saw what they did to Cam Newton today. So hey, you know this offense yeah. is going to have to step up. Xavier McKinney is a baller. James Bradbury is a baller. Leonard Williams was was disrupting the interior of the offensive line. Aziz was doing damage. I'm going to tell That's you what. Your... If there's at least one person on this entire Giants team that deserves a Pro Bowl domination, and I think there's only one, it's going to be McKinney, honestly. He's the oh, only yeah. person McKinney I can feel comfortable. Road, yeah, I could. I, he's the only one I feel real comfortable with this year saying, yeah, I can nominate you for the Pro Bowl. Yeah, man. Yeah, definitely. So, y'all secondary, so y'all y'all turned it up a notch. McKay, he looked like he was a real deal out there. I can't even, I can't even hold y'all on that. So, hey, look, I, I need to know from y'all, like, what what's the energy in Giants land? Y'all let us know in the chat, also. I mean, y'all getting this extra hope now? I'm, you know, look, I dropped the bid pretty much again. I ain't shaking around my quarterback. I'm putting this game totally on my quarterback. Like my man, what was it? Uh, was it Mac the Giants fan? Salute to my guy. Yeah, Jalen needs to show at this point he could beat somebody with his arm. Because, again, we ain't paying for no glorified running back at the quarterback position. And from what I was seeing today, there needs to be a lot of development in that area. So, no, I, I will don't say, know what to though, say, man. I will, I will say this, though. There was that one play where we got pressure on him. He went out the pocket. He was hit as he threw, and he almost got it complete. And I was like, hey, yo, that, that was impressive. But other than that, yeah, no, it was definitely what Ash was saying. It was basically us trying to force him to pass, and that was the game plan on defense. But now we're not about to excuse our our quarterback or offense as well. Now on the bright side, I think there's a lot of good things to take from this game with Daniel Jones. He had no turnovers. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You seem so convinced he was going to throw a pick <laughs> or something. Hey, that man took hey, care of the ball throw today. A pick, man. We got held on that. I don't want to hear that nonsense. Avante oh Maddox God. picked the man off. But it is what it is. I guess y'all want to say the toe was out. Whatever it was. I mean, we saw the replay. The, the toe was out. What a big play slay in here. Uh, Jamar Wilson, Big Blue in the Bronx, Nate, Josh Kalan in here as well. Listen, I'll say this. This man, Daniel Jones, did something that I haven't seen him done in like, done, that I haven't seen him do in like weeks. He stepped up into the pocket. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I saw Daniel Jones actually step up into the pocket to avoid pressure because our offensive line is not good. We already went over this. And the Eagles were getting pressure from the right side a good amount of time. Sometimes they got it right up the middle. But he was stepping up in the pocket, and it's such a simple thing to do. But that's why I'm so frustrated with Daniel Jones is because he doesn't do the simple things sometimes. He stepped up in the pocket. Today he he looked better with making his reads. Um, I think he still missed a couple of receivers. He missed a couple of throws to Galladay, actually. I think he missed a couple of throws to Galladay, and then Galladay just dropped a couple of passes as well. And then... Like Ash was saying, Kitchens was still doing some of the things that Jason Garrett did. Like when we had that second and 21, and then he tries to end the round and it becomes um the third and 23, and then he runs the ball yeah. on third and 23. I'm like, this is stupid. This this is not good at all. There was still a couple of plays where um the Eagles forces into a lot of third down situations where it's like we're not passing past the sticks. And I'm, I'm just like, this reminds me so much of Jason Garrett. At the end of the day, we scored 13 points. As of right now, Kitchens ain't much better than Garrett for me. I'm going to have to see a lot more in terms of production before I'm comfortable with giving that man the extension like you were saying. But <laughs> the offensive struggles, I'm going to put it both on uh, – I'm going to put it on Kitchens. I'm going to put it on the run game, which I was I was telling you, man, if the run game ain't there, the passing game going to struggle. We didn't really have much of a run game today. That's what I'm going to put it on today. Hey, look, I got I to gotta second that. I, I must say, look. I'm going to give Daniel Jones some respect this game because, as you were saying, I saw this man climb the pocket under pressure. He looked calm, cool, and collective. He was never really rattled this game. So Daniel Jones did everything he needed to do to at least manage the game and not cough the game over. So I got to salute Daniel Jones for at least staying in that comfortable box again. Hey, I don't think he did anything at the end. Y'all could have really put the dagger in us at the end if y'all wanted to. But Daniel Bro, we Jones had four chances stay. to do it. Yeah, nah, that's what I'm saying. Like, y'all could have really closed this out. But Daniel Jones kind of played it safe. Again, I know some of the play calling was to keep it safe. So Daniel Jones did everything he had to do to manage this game today. What was his uh what was his throwing today? I think he only it wasn't like he lit the scoreboard up. What he had? I got you right touchdown, two yards. So again, yeah, he, he had 202 yards and a touchdown, do. basically. Yeah. Did he, yeah, and then oh my gosh. And 
And then the touchdown with the knee grab. Oh, my goodness. That had me sick. I don't even Bro, know how he, that turned out. When we had that? that touchdown, as 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 that scored, I was calling the game live. Who Myself and everybody was in the, the chat was saying. Back? Bro, everybody was saying, who is that? And then we caught the ball <laughs> later in the game. We're like, who is that again? I don't know who that is. Chris Myrick. He, I know he's he's actually from Philadelphia, which is funny. But at first, I was like, is this a running back? He's wearing 41. And I have no idea where on the depth chart he was. Once again, going back to how many injuries we had in the receiving game, we had like a backup, backup running back out there playing receiver. It was crazy. I don't know who that was, man. <laughs> and that was a crazy catch, too. I think it hit, it hit him in like the stomach. It hit him on like it the bobbled on his bro, knees. Yes. Yeah. It was ridiculous. Yeah. It, again, I can't. I, game ball for the day has to go to the Giants defense. I mean, I guess if you got to give it to a player, who would you give it to on the Giants? I got to say what? McKinney did his thing. Um, who else got some picks today? I mean, how many picks did McKinney get? Was it just one? McKin McKinney got, got one, but one. he almost picked off towards the end as well. Julian yeah, Love was okay. the one with the fumble recovery. Tay Crowder was the one with the uh, the pick in the end zone. Ash is going to be back in. Darnay was the one that got the first pick, but then he went out with a chest injury like right after the first pick. There's, if I had to pinpoint one player, I don't know who I'd pinpoint. I, I'm just going to give it to the entire defense. It wasn't like one player took over or something like that. Salute. Yeah. Now the defense Shout out to Bobby Murphy today. in here. Hey, Bobby. Bobby. Murphy. <laughs> yes, Listen. sir. Let him know. We sure did. Hey, look. look how many points we left How many points? How many points did you leave on the field, do you think? I mean, we even got a touchdown. They had to take that. Because there was a holding or a holding penalty. So oh yes, your offensive line cost you all a lot of penalties today. Yes, sir. A lot of penalties. Um, specifically that guy at uh, number sixty-seven. I, I can't remember his name. Nate number Herbig. Yes, sir. He was getting a lot of penalties. What you think about that? I thought it was disgusting. Again, like that's one of the things our ego. We tend to beat ourselves, especially when it comes to these penalties. And we, I told you about that before the game. Listen. There's going to be something. If y'all challenge downfield, which I think y'all got a pass interference in the end zone. Hey, look, y'all challenge that. The referees, they ain't hesitant to throw these flags out there. So we need to tighten up on the discipline section. No, by any means, am I putting this blame on any kind of the refs? Because it shouldn't have came down to no kind of decisions on that anyway. But at the same time, listen, like, we leaving points out there. We causing way too many penalties, and I need this Eagles team to wake up. How many penalties? I think, what y'all had some penalties, too. So, but y'all didn't I mean, really have no penalties, I would say. Yeah, that I, I would say most of the penalties came from the Eagles today, actually. It's, and, and a lot of it came from the offensive line. Real quick, shout-out to Max Webster for the $2 Super Chat. Shout-out to Max, man. Been a minute. Salute. He says, why Farrell Cooper over John Ross, though? Shake my head. So, Farrell Cooper is our returner, number 83. And um, I think we only added him to the squad, like, probably a couple weeks ago. He was on our practice squad before. He had an all right day, but... Um, what do you mean by this question? You wanted John Ross in the return? I think Farrell Cooper did a good job. And uh, Ross had a couple targets today too, man. I, I just like the fact that we targeted our receivers. We targeted Galladay. We targeted Ross. We even targeted Slayton. And remember I said last night, Slayton ain't a good receiver. But when he plays the Eagles, for some reason, he plays he good. He shows up. And he showed yeah. like he didn't. It's not like he did anything spectacular, but he showed up today and he was he was good. You know what I mean? Um, Let's hey, see here. Lucas yes says... <laughs> Lucas says Rager <laughs> was the Giants player of the game. It, it just reminds Bro, me so much. Rager. The Rager drop reminds me of the Ingram drop from last year. It really does. But, you know, yes. it happens for two different teams. I'm getting Nelson Aguilar vibes from Jalen Rager on my team. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm, I am about had it with Rager. I think it's a he might be losing his confidence on the cool. So, Rager right now, <laughs> look, he probably going to end up – he ain't going to be on this team next year. He keep playing like this. And – Come looking at our – I know y'all been blasting y'all's GM, but now we're going to be looking at our GM because, again, our wide receivers right now, beyond Devontae Smith and Quez Watkins, Jalen Hurts ain't got nobody to trust out there. So Jalen Rager ain't it. When we skipping over players like Justin Jefferson – I, I was to about to say, af after, um, after the first two, who's the next up on your depth chart for wide receiver after the first two? So I mean, after Quez and after Rager. Smith. It and then after Rager, Rager, who is there? After Rager, I mean, it's, honestly, it's a bunch of basuda after that. Like, we got Greg Ward up in there. I don't even know why he was targeted in the game in the end zone. Again, some of that stuff is play calling. Why are we trying to, you know, put these wide receivers that haven't even had catches in games in the end zone package? So, yeah, our receivers after Quez and, and Devontae Smith, oh, yeah, it's, it's pretty much suspect. We got J.J. Ortega, white side out there, making catches we ain't never seen all season. 
So, yeah, our wide receiver production is trash. I think our leading receiver this game was a running back. So that lets you know where our receivers were this game. Kenny Kenny Gainwell was our leading receiver this game. He was? He only got like two or three receptions. Exactly. And he had over 32 yards, was leading our team in receiving yards. So mm-hmm. that is trash, gang. That is straight trash. You know, you want to know what's – oh, go ahead. Huh? Yeah, I was just going to get the super chat. Shout out to Asia Roberson. I love it. He's a great up, member man. of the channel for the $10 super chat. She says, what's good, Philly Notion? Kush, did you hear that? 4,500 <laughs> lost a bet to Bad Dog, and now he has to wear Giants gear in his next Eagles stream. You know what? I should have done a bet like that with ah. Notion, but, but I don't have no Eagles gear if I lost it. So this, <laughs> like, yo, that means he has to go out and get something Giants then. Like, he has to spend money. On some for that. That's, come that's out a, the pocket for that. Bro, know. that's a painful bet, bro. That's a painful bet. That's hilarious, though. Go ahead, Ash. I was about to say, just imagine, just imagine if we face y'all the second time we fully healthy. We could have blew y'all out without Kadarius Tony, Sterling Shepard, uh, uh, Kyle Rudolph, Adore Jackson. I'm not gonna lie, it might be, it might be. We might have to take out the brooms for y'all. We might have <laughs> to take out the brooms. I was waiting for it. Hey, listen, y'all one step closer to the broom. We can't allow that in Philly, so you already know. But I, hey, let me listen. ask you this though, Notion: Is the yes, curse sir. broken? Is the curse broken of y'all dominating in the past ten years? Hey, look, I don't know if it's broke or what this was today. I really, I listen, brothers. I need twenty four hours to process this. I didn't even process this because this was straight up pathetic. On the quarterback side, again, I'm not saying that y'all going to come out here and give us brooms this year, but we definitely need to take the Giants serious. And if y'all come into our house and do that, oh, yeah, the, the curse is it's broken at that point. But right now, I mean, y'all did what y'all had to do. Y'all beat us 13-7 to again. Hey, we pretty much offensively laid an egg, didn't do nothing, and y'all took advantage. So if we come out with that same ugly garbage performance, when we see y'all the second time around, it's probably going to be the same kind of thing. But we can't have that at the link. So I already know y'all getting hyped right now. My man said it's Broom City time. Hey, huh? hey, I'm keeping it a little. I'm keeping it a little calm over here. Ash, you just, can go off right now, bro. I'm just saying. I ain't mad though. I've payback, been on that same energy though. You already know it. Payback is an mf <laughs> We go to y'all. We go to y'all turf and Evan Ingram drop a, uh, a pass. That could have won us the game, and now Jalen Lake, y'all got some of that old medicine. You feel me? And to be honest, Devontae Smith burned the hell out of James Bradbury on that last drive. Yeah, that last that play, last Smith play. was open. He, it, and, it hurts and, with to Smith. It's raps. Yeah, and then you saw Devontae Smith yelling at Jalen Jalen Hurts coming out of the end zone. I know hey. you saw that. Devontae Smith, he gave yeah. that no veteran, veteran receiver energy from him. Losing brings all kind of emotions out. So, yeah, I, I don't blame him. I, I ain't mad. Jalen Hurts, again, threw three picks this game. Could have been like four or five, honestly, if we're looking at the tape. So, again, yeah, I'm sure Devontae Smith was a little frustrated with his quarterback play today. So, again, don't by any means does this game define Jalen Hurts. Let's go ahead and get that straight right yeah, now. Nah, nah. Again, I think this was a low floor type of a game. All quarterbacks in this league are going to have some – some turd type of games, but I need to see how Jalen is going to respond from this because, again, this game was straight up trash. If this is the type of quarterback play that we would consistently see, then we got a problem and he's not our guy. But I need to see mm-hmm. how he responds because adversity hit this game. And we should – hey, look, we shouldn't have laid down like that. That's all I'm going to say. All, all I'm going to say is that don't think if he plays well next week against the Jets, does that convince you? That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> don't get – you that stretch after that bye week, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that bye week, that bye week might change y'all season completely. Cause y'all go against Washington, Dallas, Washington, uh, or us, Washington, or no, I forgot what it is. But I know y'all face like four. Isn't, but no, but they got an easy game next week with the Jets, though. I think. Yeah, bro, I'm, I'm done. Saying, stop, bro. stop saying easy games. This was supposed to be an easy game today. We might mess around and lose to the Jets. We come out there playing like this, so. Again, I'm de- look, y'all handle those business. It's always going to be a tough game. Anytime it's an NFC matchup, we should beat the Jets this next coming week. But at the same time, watching this offensive performance today, I ain't got no kind of confidence at this moment beyond, hey, look, we need to go out there and get this stuff fixed. So, yeah, right now we ain't straight up trash, gang. I can't say nothing. 
beyond the Eagles look like a straight up embarrassment right now. And the Giants definitely made Jalen Hurts a hey, have the worst game of his career thus far. That, that was the worst right game now. of his career. I mean, three years. I mean, seven, hell bro. yeah. <laughs> I mean, three like, years. You know what I'm 129 passing yards. Are you kidding me? So yeah, that's that's disgusting numbers. And I gotta salute the Giants defense on that. Y'all wanted it more, and y'all came to play. So again, we come out playing like that against the Giants next week. Yeah, we probably gonna be holding another L, and I won't be shocked. Hey, right, bro, let me get these two super chats real quick. Oh, Shout out to Joey for the uh, two dollar super chat. He says Philly knows she your team is poverty. <laughs> And Jalen Hurts is bad. And then shout out to Asia Roberson for another super chat. She says, Kush, Hello, Philly Asia. Notion, not all Philadelphia. He likes the Brooklyn Nets. Oh, you like the Brooklyn Nets? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. I'm, I'm a half. Look, I get half the love in Philadelphia. Of course, I rock with my birds all day. But go Brooklyn Nets. That's what time it is for basketball. So what, you, like, what about other sports? So what? I would say those are the only two sports I watch heavy. You know, I used to be a New Jersey Nets fan, so... You know, mm. since they moved over to Brooklyn, I just had to go switch it over there. But at the end of the day, listen, I'm going to tell you right now, I I'm still I'm still trying to figure out how this game came about. Three interceptions, I never would have called that. I never would have thought your defense I think it was, was also the like first that. time since 2018 that the Eagles were shut out in the first half. Sheesh. That sounded about right. Y'all shut us out the whole first half. Embarrassing business. Embarrassing. Mm -hmm. We got a trend of, of opposing teams allowing points right before the first half. So literally, when I was on the stream of Hub, we were literally like, yep, they're about to go down here and score. No, but that decision by Jalen Hurts, that was awful. That pick was awful. Yeah. Oh, so, so a, a, Philly Notion, I know you got limited time, right? Up to how much more can you spend in the stream real quick? I probably got like another five or ten, bro. You know what I'm saying? Again, but I, I needed to come up here because I was talking hot and heavy. I know it. So, hey, it is what it is. I got to own this. And I'm not, I'm not, look, I'm not satisfied by what I saw today. This was an embarrassing performance. And I got to eat this all week. I would have rather lost to the Jets than lose to y'all. So, yeah, this one hurts, brother. This one hurts. So, so I'm going to say this. I'm going to, so for the second half of the stream, which you're going to be going for, but also hopefully within these next five minutes, we got a couple people from the chat call in and let's hear what they say. I just posted that link in the chat there. So anybody that wants to, Give their thoughts on the game. Um, definitely go ahead, click that link, and do that. I'm gonna wait until somebody pops in. But Ash, we got five more minutes to get on Philly Notion, bro. Is there anything we haven't <laughs> said that 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 needs to be said, Ash? Oh, this man is gone. Hey, listen. Oh, I'm on mute. I'm sorry. I think I really got it all out, but this dude really called Jalen Hurts the next Deshaun or a higher ceiling to Deshaun Watson. I ain't never seen the same watch and throw three picks like that. I don't know. I got to check it, bro. I think, hey, Deshaun Watson. Oh, salute to Alex. You already know. Appreciate the love. Hey, listen, Deshaun Watson, I'm sure he's probably, I'd have to go look at his worst game performance. But I'm sure he's had a low two. I don't know if it's been three interceptions. I wouldn't be shocked. But I'm still confident in my quarterback that he can learn from this. Now, if I see this same business come next week, then, yeah, we're going to have a problem because consistently is bad. But right now, again, yeah, I'm I'm a little in my feelings right now. That ain't the expectations I got from my quarterback. And he's the reason why we lost this game. And I got to own that. So, yeah. Hey, but Deshaun Watson, I still do believe Jalen Hurts will have a higher ceiling eventually. But not right now. <laughs> it ain't right eventually, now. But, like, what are you seeing that makes you see that, though? Oh, just I got, I got, I got to know, I gotta right know what you're seeing. He's got he, – uh, look, first of all, if you got a determination that you want to win, win again. I believe towards the end of that stretch, he was fighting to try to win. You can't teach those things. So if he could develop his arm strength – or not arm strength, but his arm accuracy, stop throwing in double, triple coverage. I mean, there were times we were watching this man stare down receivers. Even the commentary said it. You know, this man, you could tell he's just looking at one read. If it ain't there, I'm up out of there. He's got to develop those things because, again, it ain't going. He can't be no glorified running back and expect to be doing damage in the NFL. I think mm -hmm. another thing. I think he was borderline injured in the game too. So I heard he was limping oh, off really? the field what of some sort. Yeah, I think he was limping off, or he might have did something. So that's going to be something to monitor. You were saying something, Ash? 
No, I'm saying I did see him limp off on a, on his one drive. Um, I forgot who tackled him. Somebody tackled him, and then like right after he was limping. So, hey. is there was there any updates on that at all? I'm not sure. No, all I Nobody saw knows. was hey, there was an injury. I'm sure he went from like being on a questionable status of some sort. So it's going to be something to look out for. I think he's still going. You know, he'll fight through it. Jalen's a warrior, but at the same time. You keep running Jalen like that. I mean, this man was out there really on running back mode. I think he had, what, like 77 rush yards. So mm -hmm. I, mean, I like that element to his game, but it's got to be something else. He's got to win it with his arm. Like he said, this whole running, running the quarterback, it can only work for so long. And eventually he's about to open that arm up. And from looking at today, he got some work to do. So exactly shout out to lucas for this uh 14 i'm pretty sure uh uh oh wait no i forgot is it australian lucas a uh super chat he says respect to notion for turning up can be easy but all jokes aside respect for manning up notion always mans up bro never hey never listen Lucas, that. big salute i ain't even gonna lie to you i'm straight up miserable right now i ain't gonna lie as soon as i watched that game i cut the tv off and i was in my feelings some but hey listen Y'all know this comes with the territory. Yeah, I came up here because I'd have been giving Kush and Ash money this work if we would have got the dub. So, oh, well, honey, only yo, do you know how bad it would have been if I had to tune into his stream at six o'clock? <laughs> Can you imagine? You know he he quote unquote forgot the trash bags. Now nah, he wouldn't have forgotten the trash bags <laughs> for that stream. That would have been all over the place, man. Hey, CJ and Karan by in here as well. Max know Western. We putting it at the hey, day, there it is. He got the bags on deck. So, <laughs> there it is. Oh man, yo, Max, yo, call him, bro. But um, Notion, thank you, man. I know, I know you're short on time. I'm, I'm gonna let you go right now, though. But thank you for tuning in, calling in as usual, being part of the stream, being part of the Giants community in some way. I appreciate it. I'm gonna be back on yours, uh, you know the it. week of that's week 16, I believe, that Christmas week where we play the Eagles again, man. Any last thoughts before you go out, man? And guys, make sure you go down hey, and subscribe to Philly Notion. Last thoughts, man. I appreciate everybody, everybody again. Appreciate oh, wait, I'm, I'm sorry. Support. I'm sorry to cut you off. We got a Philly fan oh, that called in. Do you want to take him real quick before you go? Or? Oh, yeah. Look at my Philly brother up in here. I know he's Philly. What up, you Philly too. Ace? How you doing? Philly Ace, what's uh, up, bro? Yo, what's good, man? What's good? Y'all, man, I just want to come <laughs> on here right quick. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give y'all man respect today on the Giants defense today. Y'all, man, y'all came out to play for real. Because on my mind, it was a trap game. I knew it was a trap game. Because I wasn't going to take it nothing more Nothing less when it comes to the game like this. Y'all, you know I mean, we shot ourselves in the foot. We did it. We did it to ourselves. I'm like, look, look, can we learn from it? Of course. Of course, things happen. Y'all, you know I mean, At, every dog has their day. Y'all, you know I mean, we got our ass kicked. They did, <laughs> the, the, the New York football job, they had to do what they had to do. <laughs> That's the bottom line. Y'all, y'all, y'all play, y'all play well on defense, like stopping the run game. I give you that, man. I was looking at plays. I was looking at plays like uh, Devontae Smith who's wide open, and Boston Scott was wide open. I'm like, really? How you missed that? I'm like, oh, MJ. What up, dude? Boston Scott? He was alone by himself, just by himself on the corner. I know they're gonna look at that hey. film like, damn, that's it. Hey, Listen, man, man, one thing I think, I think, you know, we both got to acknowledge Philly Ace, and I know you saw the game, too. We got some work to do, brother. And I'm going to tell you right now, this is not looking like, I'm going to say it now, this is not looking like a playoff team at this point. We got a lot of stuff to figure out. So, hey, man, again, y'all y'all held it down, man. Giants, y'all stood up for mm -hmm. this one. Y'all always show up when it comes to the Eagles, but we're going to see y'all on the run back. Please believe that. So I know y'all got the vibes right now, the brooms and all of that. Go get your rocks off. But at the same time, y'all make sure y'all extend Freddie Kitchens also. Go ahead and sign Daniel Jones. I don't know about that. I don't hey, know about listen. that. No, no, no. We need to yeah, put Freddie that Kitchen there. is good. <laughs> we need to see y'all again on the run back. But, hey, my guy, you already know. I'm a great slide out, man. Y'all yourselves a fantastic day, man. Enjoy your dub for the day. I know Giants Nation out here popping bottles. Big congrats on Wetness and more. We gonna see how this season ends out, but we gonna lick our wounds right now. This is trash. Straight for up. sure. Thank you for calling in Philly Notion and Philly Ace. Right, have Philly. a good one too, man. 
Indeed, fellas. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. But it's still Fly Eagles Fly. Salute. <laughs> and then the next caller, we got a legit OG of the Giants YouTube community. It is OGR. What up, OGR? How you doing, man? What's going on, my man? How's this? How are you? Ear to ear. Yeah. This was a game, huh? Yeah. I mean, it was, it was not a fun game to watch. The that. most tense, boring game I've ever watched. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least the last 10 minutes or so, yeah. Yeah. Man. What's up, bro? Yo, I, I can say this right now. What are Philly fans like? Last night, what was it? Two nights ago, I was on uh, the Bird Gang 31 show. Shout out to him. And, <laughs> yo, I had all these guys tell me, Jalen Hurts, franchise quarterback. I know it's only 15 games, but fran franchise my ASS. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my God, dude. That, w that was bad. I mean, I'm sorry. This dude is not a franchise. Remember, last night, Philly Notion came on the channel. He said uh, that Jalen Hurts had a higher ceiling than Deshaun Watson. Yeah. But uh, let's, I don't know. let's face it. Philly, Philly Notion goes with the highs of the highs and the lowest of the lows. There is no middle ground with that man. So I do love Philly Notion. Very entertaining. But how are you feeling about the game in general, man? Philly game in general, obviously, I mean, you're psyched to see that from the defense. You really want to see that from the defense. Let me turn this down. I don't know if you guys can hear it because I'm watching Cleveland both in the right now. And uh, it's just, I, I don't know. I, I'm happy with the defense. You know, obviously, I would like us to be more uh, solidified in the run game. We haven't been as strong as a lot of Giants feel we've been. Mm -hmm. But we, you know, we did what I thought we needed to do, and that is get the lead, keep the lead, and put pressure on Philly to make plays in the passing game to get back in this game, which Jalen Hurts could not do. A lot of people blame the fact that, oh, Jalen Reagan, I, I, to me, those weren't drops. There was Those were contested catches. Mm -hmm. So... But for the most part, offensively, I mean, obviously, that that would that should be the big talking point right now. Obviously, offensively, not good. Daniel Jones played good enough to get us a win, but I'm sorry if we can't have a if we can't solidify ourselves in the run game at all. Like, I'm not saying you know everybody says oh it's a new, it's a new league. It's a new what, league. what was this OGR like the the eighth game or so of just pure struggles in the run game? Yeah, I mean you. I mean, how do you want your quarterback quarterback to operate when you can't even run the football even three yards per carry? You might you might say we did, but let's face it. The one run with Saquon Barkley is what we did. Mm -hmm. Everything else was in the screen game. Almost every big pass play was the screen game except for those two chunk plays toward the, the end of the game with Kenny Galladay and then maybe John Ross on that crossing route going upfield. Other than that, I mean – we were non-existent and mm -hmm. we're not even good in the screen game at all. I mean, we, we did slightly better today, but we did shoot ourselves in the foot with that, that reverse coming out of the half. Like what was that? Mm -hmm. And th no, that entire drive, I think we only, am I wrong? I think we only had three drives in the third quarter. No, no, no. I mean, one drive in the third quarter and it was three plays that, that one where it became third and 23. That was ridiculous. Yeah. And I, I'm honestly surprised the defense did not gas out. I, I, I expected them to be gassed out at some point. Well, but we, we won time, time of possession. Every time we thought that they were going to gas out, the the offense did enough to get them a five, six-minute breather so they could come back and recharge their batteries. I mean, it was a Herculean effort. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit there and lie. And we are, you know, we are the battered and bruised even after that game. I mean, we gotta find out have you heard any updates on Adore Jackson? Nothing yet. No, none on Darnay either. But I could just I could look it up right now, actually. Because we are we are hurting for corners very quickly. Mm -hmm. No, the last update was when it just said they were out, and I'm not seeing anything new right now. So I mean, other than that, I mean, obviously the big news is uh, you know a lot of Giants fans were celebrating the fact that Dave Gettleman is likely gone at the end of the season, which a lot of Giants fans. Com Sorry about that. No, it's all good. But a lot of Giants fans don't actually register that Joe Judge would be back. Mm -hmm. like in that same article, it mentioned that. So what are your thoughts about that? So I've always wanted them to be a package deal because I, I, I simply don't want to fall into what the Jets have had, which is 
coach is gone, but you keep GM. Then GM is gone, but you keep coach. And they're never on the same timeline. It, we're going to end up with what we ended up with Shermer just now, where it was like, uh, you know, oh, we have Shermer gone, but Gettleman is still here. And now we know that the next person to be the fall guy is Gettleman um, when Judge is gone and stuff like that. I just want them on the same timeline, you know? Same here. And then our, the early reports already link, have us linked to other um, former Patriots um, front office guys. Not necessarily the top guys like Nick Casario, but like, mm -hmm. uh, what's the kid out of the. Um, He's the director of player personnel for the Titans. I can't think of his name right now. But that, I have that, no that idea. Was first, that was the first. That was the first link. Look that up when you obviously get off stream. But like, I, I just I want continuity on this team. That's all I beg for. That's all I've ever wanted. And mm -hmm. and I keep saying it. And I hate to bring it up on your stream again, but I mean, ownership and their consistent lack of good decision making is why the Giants are where they are. Mm -hmm. And, and we, I, we need I agree with you. Because because there's there was if you look at the JC Garrett uh, firing, apparently they were unsure of him since you know the off season. But you waited until eleven games into the season to actually since take November, care. November twenty twenty. Since November twenty twenty, that's even longer. That's a, over a year. The it's Jazz have far far too long been a reactive rather than proactive organization. But it's just like and, and I I they just I I can't stand it, and that that's the thing. Get ahead of the curve. Everybody is begging the Giants to be brought into the new era of football. Now, I don't believe you need to be brought into the new era of football completely. Because what I mean by that is, yes, yeah, it's great that you can pass September, October. But when you get into the dog days, the winter days in the Northeast and around the country, you got to run the football. Look at mm -hmm. the teams that run their ball consistently. They may have not run the ball consistently all season. Teams that run the ball consistently, November, December, into January, are the ones that usually make the playoffs are the ones that actually do well in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. How many times you got to watch Derrick Henry go for almost 200 in the playoffs and beat teams that nobody thought they could beat, a la mm -hmm. Titans against the Patriots when they had Tom Brady? No, I hear you. I hear you. But – uh, OGR, because we got a couple people in here, I'm going to ask you to give your last thought. We got uh, Big Boo in the Bronx next, then another classic call-in guy in Joel, then we got Nerding Out Sports, and then we got an Eagles fan in BPS. Uh, I'll, I'll be happy to hear what he has to say, because he had a lot to say last night before the game. Uh, but anyways, definitely stick around for that, man. Salute to you, Hub. I do appreciate it. Um, obviously, going forward, let's hope we get some sort of consistency in the run game. Therefore, make Daniel Jones better. Therefore, we'll be a better offense. But I gotta ask you: um, or Do you see anybody that you want? It is super early for the draft. You know, there's a lot of talk about guys like Aiden Hutchinson, Evan Neal, and stuff like that. You got your eye on anybody? I me, Aiden Hutchinson. After after the game against Ohio State, where Michigan has not beaten Ohio State in quite some time, I'm telling you right now, Aiden Hutchinson's the real deal. You know, I'm a Big Ten guy. That's that's the guy I want in the draft, mm -hmm. and I'm hoping he falls to us. He look. He look. He made some Ohio State dudes look like children out there. No, what that, I've seen. That, that man is a force, and that's that's All what right. we need. All right, is, enough Ohio State bad breath. Oh yeah, he's an Ohio State fan. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, no, but Aiden Hutchinson. What I love about Aiden Hutchinson is he can play either. If you need him to be a stand, he could be a stand up outside linebacker pass rusher, or he can, you know, obviously drop inside and be that four three defensive end. Because I'm thinking future. You need guys that can play multiple positions on two different defenses. Not necessarily saying the Giants are a base 3-4, but that's the personnel we mostly line up in. So, you know, I need somebody who can do that. Mm -hmm. But for sure, yeah, OGR, let me get your last thoughts and we'll be out, man. Thank you for calling in. Yeah, all right. Talk to you later, man. Bye. Peace. Next up, Big Moon in the Bronx. And like I said, it's Joel after then Nerding Out Sports, then BPS. How you doing, Alex? <sighs> Love beating you. You, you want to get that 29 change? In, I mean, that 21 change into a 29? I that's that's a certain possibility. The the true story behind. I mean, this is actually unfortunately a Landon Collins jersey because this morning, uh, you know, I, I did some things last night because I was actually going to the game and I was at the game and I'll present some stuff that I actually got mm -hmm. in the experience overall. But I forgot to grab duct tape and write peppers over it. But I'm like, yeah, you know, it's it's six in the morning. I'm I'm not gonna go bother 
doing that. Um, but it, it was a great game. It was a great experience. I just want to sh- uh, show two things, talk about my experience. It's, I, I got this. Hey, oh, Spain they gave that out Powell. to everybody, or was it like lucky thing? Yeah, it was. Uh, it was free, and everybody was waving it on third and fourth down. So obviously, that was uh, that was very fun. As you could probably tell, I have lost a lot of my voice. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll tell you about a, f- a couple of funny stories, and then also uh, met sneaky g man he gave me one of his hats okay it's pretty so, cool you got, you got a good amount of stuff yeah um the tailgate that uh talking giants hosted the starting around like 8 a.m you know that was really fun they they catered from a diner that was nearby and they had some really good food uh it took a lot of shots you know just toasting to the giants and stuff like that then uh went inside our seats were good um you know, I had this, as, as always, you know, you're going to have Eagle fans yappity, yappity, yappity behind me. You know, mm-hmm. uh, what was it? It was after uh, it was after the Giants, I think, played prevent offense on their last drive. And this was the drive uh, before the drive that essentially won the game. Uh, you know, they had the Eagle fan yapping behind me. Yappity, yappity, yappity. Oh, well, this is going to be a game changing play. Oh, well, the momentum's going to shift. Oh well, this is where uh, legends are built. Jalen Hurts, come on! And mm-hmm. then when the when when uh, let's just say uh, when uh, Aaron Robinson broke up that pass or Jalen Rager dropped it, they went silent. He immediately left. And the guy listened. behind you? Yeah, the guy behind me. And uh, you know, I said there was a couple of Giant fans before the Giants took the field for their final drive, the one where they milked the clock, which is honestly something I'm very pissed about because mm-hmm. they could have just gotten one first down. I really think that was by design, though. Um, but uh, what was I going to say? Going uh, going back to that situation when it was all done and over, I did the fly goes flying, started mocking Eagle fans, and it was also another situation that I thought was funnier, and I, I don't know where this guy got his rights from. I, I don't know where he's mm-hmm. getting you know the trash talk from because they just lost the game. So we were heading outside, and I was also considering starting a Cowboy Suck chant to kind of unite the fan bases, but I'm like, you know <laughs> what? The Eagles deserve this loss, so I'm not going to go there. So we mm-hmm. were heading back because, unfortunately, the NFL has that stupid rule of, oh, you need clear bags and this it stuff. Is it the NFL or is it just MetLife? The, the NFL. Okay. NFL has a stupid rule of clear bags. So we went to go back and our exchanger bags. And then this Eagle fan and, and his brother, or his friend come up to me because I was with my brother at the game. I was also at last week's game, Jets Dolphins. And the Jets actually host the Eagles next week. So hopefully they could do our job uh, there, you know, do our uh, do us a favor. And then they could do we could do them a favor because we face the Dolphins, obviously in the same division. But uh, there was a there was a guy in front of us. Cowboys fan. He had a Zeke Elliott jersey, and he probably was a Cowboys the... fan at a Giants versus Eagles game. Okay. Yes, and you know, I uh, I wouldn't give a Cowboys fan credit, but a they are a better team than the Eagles and the Giants. B, with that being said, uh, you know they uh they they were rooting on the Giants to win. I, I think every Cowboys fan was knowing the playoff chances, but to finally there was even Washington fans in my stream that were rooting for us to win. Yeah, because nobody wants who wants to see the Eagles win, right? Um, but but to finally not milk the clock and get to the story, uh, this guy's like he points to my jacket, which has the Giants logo, poverty franchise. So I start going back and forth at him. I mean, he didn't really have much to say. I said, yeah, you just lost, buddy. You know, talk about poverty franchises. And I started cursing at him and all this other stuff. Okay. You know, I'm like, yeah, talk about your record and your, your poverty wow. at kill Philadelphia City. Yeah, get one, the, one chip. Get the one chip. That's all you got to say, bro. One chip. Yeah. But, you know, and then also I was talking to my brother about something and, you know, related to the game. And then uh, some Eagle fan overheard me and says, oh, look at the record. I'm like, yeah, look at the record. All right. Look what just happened. Um, But it was a fun experience. I thought the defense, uh, like OGR said, would have gassed out. Uh, It's too bad I missed on Philly Notion because I would have – I – Popped in for a little bit to see what he had to say, and he was obviously, you know, blaming Jalen Hurts, which I feel like they should have ran the ball a little more today because in the second half, definitely, uh, the Giants really couldn't stop the run. Boston Scott, as I called it, had one touchdown against the Giants. Mm -hmm. Um, Daniel Jones, in my opinion, he did enough to win the game. I feel like his pocket presence was a little improved. It's one game. 
Uh, some stuff, you know, that I was mad about on offense, like that last drive, just milking the clock and not going for a first down because that would have really sealed the game. Love the three, four turnovers on defense, uh, the interceptions, all mostly based actually on Hertz's accuracy. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my basic thoughts on the game. Real quick, shout out to Josh Valencia, the Miami Dolphins fan for the two dollar super chat. He says, Fins versus Giants next week. Let's go. I am a little bit worried about that game because, like I said, and I've been saying, the Finns have won four games in a row. Um, they've like very quietly kind of come back and uh trying to turn their season around a little bit. In regards to what you're saying, Alex, I find it pretty hilarious that you had that altercation to begin with. Eagles fans are just salty, man. Jesus Christ, that dude lost the game and he still found a way to go and talk trash after. I've never seen that in my life. Yeah, I mean, I I even yelled after before I before I said the real curse words at him. I said, "You want some salt on your New York pretzel?" <laughs> Listen, so. man, you should you should start talking about cheesesteaks and make him feel real bad, man. Someone behind me, don't going down the escalator, was talking about cheesesteaks and how they suck. And then there was a chant saying "F the Eagles," so I'm like, "Yeah, you know why not?" But Ash Money, any thoughts on what Alex had to say? Uh, just. Just wow. <laughs> I didn't expect that, especially those words to be used from Alex. I mean, I don't know you in person. I never seen you in person. Listen, man, I don't know you the dude challenged him. I know. I'm just saying, you know, Alex doesn't really look like the guy to, you know, curse somebody out. Again, I don't know you as a person. So, but um, yeah. I, I Wait, Alex, was he taller know. than you? No, he was like the same size as me. Oh, all right. Okay. Still props, though. Still props. Yeah, though. yeah. Yeah, I, I, the only game I've been to was uh, the 2019 uh, Giants-Washington game in Washington. Um, and, you know, that was just between Giants and Washington. So wasn't really that much toxicity there. Uh, but I definitely want to go to a Giants-Eagles game, though. Yeah, in the future. We're, we're all going to the Week 18 game. I'm going to be interested to see if there's going to be Washington fans in the stands like that, to be honest. That would be something surprising. But, Most Alex, we've got a good line here. I got Joel next. Any last thoughts before I pop you out, man? And uh, you know what? Let me let me ask you about Kitchens. I know you, uh, a lot of people have been saying that he only had six days, which I agree with. But um, you know, and I'm, of course I'm gonna give him the rest of the season. But as an immediate thing, would you see from this game with Kitchens? I like some stuff, and I didn't like some stuff. I didn't like the two, three attempts in the end zone, which Darius Slay broke up. Personally, I thought one or at least two of them were flags because the defensive back didn't have his head turned. But, you know, that's obviously I'm not going to blame the game or the situation on the refs. The Giants were not necessarily the greatest on offense. I saw a couple of curl routes, some things I didn't like, the uh, end around as well. Uh, that's not really something I liked. I like, though, uh, just targeting Kenny Galladay more, even though Jones was off on a couple of throws. I remember on a slant, he missed him by two inches. Um, and then, you know, towards the end of the game, if, you know, Gall Galladay got a couple more catches and he had that one, which was, I believe, a slant or it was uh, some type of different pattern. If that was Kadarius Tony, I'm not ripping Galladay. If that was Kadarius Tony and he did not get tripped up, he, he would have been gone. I'm telling you that right now. Um, oh, that, was, that was the one over the middle, right? That was over the middle, yes. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, I, I do like the way they, they got him involved a little bit more. Obviously, it's not going to be, you know, just a one-day thing. It's got to be, you know, down the stretch. But I feel like the Giants left some points out on the field. Uh, great touchdown by Chris and Myrick. Un unfortunately, we wasted all four of the turnovers that we got. We didn't take advantage of any of them. Wow. Um, I I – I mean, obviously, in the game moment, you 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 necessarily don't go back to context and stuff like that. But that's that's got to be cleaned up. Yeah, um, like our our thirteen points did not come from any of the three picks or the force um the fumble recovery. That's that's poor. And one of them was uh one of them came off a missed one of them one of the opportunities was a missed field goal. Which once mm -hmm. again, the Giants, I think, and they they they, end, they also ended up in too many third and longs, especially in the first half, third and eight, third and nine, third and seven. That's gotta stop. Um, but one thing, and listen, I I was uh, I I hate I dislike Jason Garrett for lack of better words, but you at the end of the game, you can't just sit there and just milk clock for the sake of milking clock. And Daniel Jones, obviously, yeah, he took the sack. That was obviously prudent of him because, you know, he rolled to the ground. He didn't go out of bounds and save the Eagles a timeout. But, you know, just running the ball twice, try for the first down, try a screen, try something else. That is Joe Judge's philosophy because, you know, if it, if Kitchens, man. 
if Kitchens called it, okay, I will blame him if it ever comes out that he called it. But Joe Judge, the conservative philosophy of just, yeah, milking clock. No, go for the first down, and then you can milk the clock that you want. This game, in my personal opinion, should have been a blowout, the way Jalen Hurts was playing and the way uh, Sirianni was calling players. I just – yeah, exactly. And I also, and I know Philly Notion also said, well, that should have been an interception. You should have challenged it because I thought it was going to be an interception. Evan Ingram, great hands, by the way. He also had a good screenplay, so I can't rip him too much. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, that, that stuff's got to, this stuff's got to stop. But once again, you know, Jason Garrett's gone, but the philosophy it has looked like it hasn't really changed. And they got to do something in the running game. They have to. I mean, next week, obviously, you mentioned Dolphins, four in a row. But we gotta get something going. Uh, mm-hmm. You can't be sitting here and wasting. Saquon Barkley had a nice run, so he's got some legs left in him. But can't be, can't be just lame duck like that. Mm-hmm. And Alice, I'm gonna thank you once again for calling, man. Guys, make sure you go over, subscribe to Big Boom Bronx, check out his podcast, Boys in the Big Apple. Puts out great content over there. Thank you, man. Have a good one. Peace out, guys. Before I bring on Joe Yaddo. Let me quickly address the chat. Uh, Cookie Monster was saying, you guys all tall. I don't know about all of us. I think it's just me, and then Bobby's a monster in terms of height. Uh, Ash, how tall are you? I'm 5'10". Oh, that's, he's small. So, <laughs> <laughs> and Sunday, you need, Sunday's a gamer. I need something to hop on Xbox, bro. I would love to play her in some games. No, but, Joe, what's up? Yo, yo how you doing? Ash Money, my guy. How you doing? What's up? No, hey, you know what? How about the Michigan Wolverines? Yo, Ash, you would know a lot about Aiden Hutchinson, wouldn't you? He's an Ohio State guy. (laughs) I know, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Ash was nice enough to come on and watch the game with me. It was a damn good game. How long did he stay? No, for the full game. You know, he had some errands to do in the morning, and he popped on there about after the first quarter, and. We were we were going back and forth. It was a great. By the way, I got to pat myself on the back, hub. Yeah, I told people the Giants were going to win today. Yeah, you did. I did. I told everybody. Hey, to be fair, last Yo. night on my stream, I did too, but I had a way better score prediction. Oh. I thought we were going to win like twenty four to twenty one or something. Ah, uh, twenty eight to twenty six. Yeah. Hey, yo, Philly Notion, my guy. I got something for you. Ah, oh, I know he's gonna love that. He's gonna love that one. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a broom, baby, right there. We're gonna. We sweep. should have had that last year. Yeah, but exactly. now we got a better chance of doing it this year. Yeah, I know. You know, like last year, Ingram and Butterfingers. This year, it's uh, Rager with Butterfingers. I kind of like the way things turned out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, man, what a game! What a game! I mean, for me, I just want. We, we all said last night. We wanted to just see improvement. You know, we want to see Daniel manipulate the pocket. We want to see some better throws. We want to see a little bit better play calling. Look, he's only got six days to get ready. But, you know, let's see what Kitchens can do in six days. And, you know, I think I I also said that I believe that Judge got a hold of Kitchens the week before the bye and said, get a game plan ready. Get something Mm -hmm. that these guys can do. That way you're not behind the eight ball on Monday morning or Tuesday morning if we let him go. Mm-hmm. You know, we can't let him go after a win. You know, it's just not feasible. But I liked I liked Ketchin's play calling today. I really did because, now look, I get it. We didn't have much of a running game. But now Kitchens has something on film with his plays, his designs a little bit. You know, with, with the blocking schemes, with the receivers. I mean, come on, that that one to Ross over the middle of the field, how he schemed him open. That was. Yeah, a I keep beautiful. saying this. I keep. I've been saying this for a while. John Ross has done nothing but good things when we got the ball to him. We need to get him the ball more. And, I, and he has. Right. I think he he's fixed his dropping problem. He hasn't dropped the ball this year yet, and every time he gets it, it's positive yardage from him. We need to get him the ball more. Oh, well, you know, and then imagine if Tony was out there. Hmm. You know, I mean, uh, uh, Kitchens realizes the speed that we have on the outside. He really wants to get that involved into the system. I mean, yeah, there was no deep shots, but, you know, Daniel moved in the pocket, stepped up in the pocket, felt the rush. You know, when when he nothing was there, he dropped the ball and run. And then he slid. He didn't try to go forward for the extra yards. He was sliding. 
I didn't mm-hmm. see him at once put his head down. To, he got hit the first once. Time, the first time he ran, he just he kind of dove, and I was like, please tell me you're sliding the next time. And for the rest of the game, he slid. Exactly. You know, I think that's where Kitchen says, okay, I don't want you doing that. I want you to slide, DJ. Mm-hmm. You know, so, so and Daniel's been hindered for the last year and a half. So, you know what? I'm a firm believer right now with everything that's coming out that John Mara was protecting Jason Garrett. Yep. Mm-hmm. No, and then Tish went up and said, okay, you know what, something, I think Tish went over to Mara and and had a really big discussion with him. You hired this guy, let him coach the team, let him do what he wants to do. You're not letting him. And now, look, I I, I get it, everyone ripped on Gettleman, but my God, you really think he was a fall guy now? Now do you understand the Barkley pick? Now do you understand, you know, some of the other uh, players that we got? You, you know, I mean, look, I'm not saying that he's completely innocent. You know, Gettleman might have done some of these moves, but, you know, what? Oh, look, I know Ms. ain't talking as if I've been blaming Gettleman for anything. Me? Right. One of the biggest Gettleman defenders on the thing? How, now, how I, was I have it? said in the past couple weeks, I mean, because let's not act as if he's the perfect gym. I have right. said he has a lot of problems. But uh, I, I never want to get him and go on. Let's not, no, he uh, didn't. No, Hub, right. you didn't. You were always like on the question of is it Gettleman? And and you would you would go into what Gettleman did that you thought was bad and what Gettleman mm-hmm. would, did good. But oh, you but, never. Okay. Oh, thank yeah. you, Miz. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, others. That's what, we're, that's what we're saying, and that's why I'm bringing that up right now. So, Miz. no, i got to ask you this, though. Like, I mean, at the end of the day, there's a, there's a big gap between what we want to happen and what's actually going to happen. Do you think? Do you still think he's going to be the fall guy? Because there's been a lot, man. In the past month, it's double, triple, almost quadruple the report saying that he's going to retire after this season. Well, you know what? I think that's going to happen. We're probably going to promote from inside. Mm-hmm. The only reason is because I don't think you want to bring in a, a a fresh manager from the outside right now, especially with what Judge is doing. Judge still has control of this team. Mm-hmm. These guys, I mean. Even look at the special teams guys that were jumping around rah rah. Um, what the, what's his name there? The punt returner, uh, Farrell Cooper. Yeah, Cooper. My God, he he caught a couple of returns and he's bouncing around, going, "All right, guys, let's go." You know, he had some really good returns. Mm-hmm. You know, he got the team hyped, and then that and everyone just started feeding off of that. You know, DJ had. Look, if I was going to grade DJ, it would be a B to a B plus right now. That 82, 83 grade right in there. He's got a lot of work to do. But to pick up on a system that fast, you know, because you know Kitchens reversed some of the terminology. Hence Mm -hmm. why he's got that play band on. You know, and it's coming out that that really helped him. He's never worn one before. In his career. Right. And I mean, look, just look at the difference that that made with kitchens. Have you ever seen Daniel Jones go over and hug Jason Garrett? No, no, <laughs> but you know what? He went over and hugged Freddie kitchens. Now look, I, I said that we, that's all we wanted to see was an improvement. And, and honestly, did Daniel Jones improve this game compared to the yeah, last 11 because, weeks? Like I was saying earlier, stepping up in the pocket. I feel like I haven't seen that in a while. <laughs> yeah. Would you say Ash? Now he's saying he improved in the small but most important stuff. Yeah. Right. Right. I mean, we're not going to see a, a huge difference because he's got to get back into the flow of that. He hasn't done it in so long. Exactly. McKenney, all-star. How about Jordan Love? Jordan Love? Julian Love? Yeah, Julian Love. Yeah, yo. What I've been saying for weeks, bro, I've been Yo. saying I will be so comfortable with the duo of Julian Love and Xavier McKinney going forward. Because, honestly, Jabril Peppers, him and Logan Ryan are great leaders for this team. But with Jabril Peppers, his fifth-year option is up. I don't see any any reason to sign him, to be honest with you. I love the guy, but there's nothing oh. compelling me to sign him. And then Logan Ryan's new contract has always been a hindrance rather than a good thing to the team. I'll be so comfortable moving forward with Julian Love and Xavier McKinney, at least and, for and, one year. And Miz has a great point, too, because that rookie Robinson had a big game. Robinson, yeah, he made up for his mistake early in yes. the game. And yeah, he went in and he did his thing. But now these guys got some film, man. You know what? 
I, I I woke up this morning, Hub, with a tingle going down my back every time I thought about the Giants, and it wasn't a negative Ooh. tingle, okay? Ooh. I think <laughs> about Miami next week, I get the same goosebumps right now. I'm getting that same chill running down. Now, look, I know Miami's coming off of a four-game win streak. I was about to say, maybe Miami just like the Eagles. Maybe they're due for a loss. Yeah, exactly. Miami, this could be a trap game for Miami as well. Too. Exactly. You know, if we can go into Miami and beat them coming off of a four-game win streak, I mean, that 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 in itself might turn this fan base into stop being so negative because I get it. Everybody, the offense was not spectacular by any means mm -hmm. but you know what we moved the ball daniel jones had pretty good numbers the running game was not there like alex said i but they never gave up on it and barkley did break one and if he could break one imagine what's going to go on next week because now that kitchens has some tape who's to say he's not going to go up to joe judge and say I have got to get Solder out of there. He is just not I doing hope. it because Bro, Fletcher it's 12 Cox weeks, 12 blew weeks too him much, up. man. So 12 weeks too much. Maybe we're going to start getting Isaiah Wilson first team reps. Maybe we're going to get Pert over there next week first team reps because that tape doesn't lie. And if they're willing to get rid of Garrett now, they've got to make a move on that offensive line for us to really believe this is Joe Judge's team because there mm -hmm. ain't no way in hell Pert's going to be worse. Than Nate Solder. He, it, it, it's impossible. Hernandez has a six last week. I don't know what his grade is this week. But, you um, know. I have no idea. I Dude, don't was either. Was Pert out there as a, as a guard a couple of times, I think? Pert was no? out there as an eligible. And mm -hmm. so that went, went they went to a, a heavy package so that that way they could, you know, that that's how uh, they set up the play for Jones to throw the touchdown to the tight end. Mm -hmm. You know. I get it. I wanted to see touchdowns too. I thought we'd never, we didn't capitalize enough. You know, technically we should have had 30 points up the board with, with the turnovers and everything, but we saw a 50, 50 ball to Galladay in the end zone. First time this year, Couple you times. can tell that Galladay and Jones still need to work on their timing a little bit, you know? So that might be something that they practice, you know, during the week. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, this is the little stuff that we're going to start seeing, and this is the stuff that we still need to see improvement. But for us to come off of a win against a division opponent, knock them out, of, make them think that they're not in the playoffs right now, guys, this is the best win we could have asked for. This was the one win we all wanted the most, and we won it, celebrate it, enjoy it. You know, seize this moment. Watch ESPN. See what they talk about. It's probably going to be the Eagles and Hurts, but damn it, you know our Giants caused all the stuff, all the talk that's going to go on right now with the Eagle contents creators because they were sold on Jalen Hurts before this game from the last three weeks. Mm -hmm. But he didn't have that big running game. I mean, Hurts was most of the offense. Yeah, they did gash us a little bit. But, you know, the Giants' plan was to get Hurts contained in the pocket, make him throw the ball. He's going to make mistakes, and that's exactly what he did. Mm -hmm. That's exactly how I said that Hurts is. He is a one-read, drop it, and run quarterback. That's what he loves to do. That's his game. Joe, nothing but agreeing with you here. Even Ash was saying it last night. If we're going to win this game, I'm going to have to make him throw rather than make him run. Yes. The read option was killing us for a while, and then they got back to the throw when we saw what was happening. Ooh, did you see how they started that read option, and then Lorenzo Carter came off the edge and was pounding on Hurts every freaking play? Mm -hmm. Every play, he was putting Hurts on his ass. Every play. Okay, run that RPO. He'd hand it off and get Lorenzo Carter to come up and deck him. He's mm -hmm. like, oh, man, I can't do this crap no more. I'm getting abused. Uh, okay. Ash, any, anything to respond with to Joel? No, that's what, that's just what I've been saying, you know. And the thing about Nate Soder, if this dude is getting put on his butt by JPP with a torn rotator cuff, then why is he still on the field? Um, I hope Freddie Kitchens does come out and say that, you know, Nate Soder is not going to work with what I'm trying to do. Um, I really hope so because I don't understand why us going into 12 weeks in, 
this oh. dude, Nate Soder, is still on the field. Billy um, Price, too, yeah. Yeah, Billy Price, I've, too, yeah. I've been seeing it like, like, um, Jalen Hurts, and I've been seeing it when he gets his running lanes and when he gets to take control of the offense and the defense allows him to take control, that dude is a baller. Yes, so when yes. You shut, when you shut down that, that, that option of his game, you make them one dimensional. And that's what the Giants did today. Um, even though it was bad decision because I felt like if the Eagles decided to keep running the ball, you know, we're probably talking differently about this game right now. But, you know, they decided to pass um, when they really shouldn't have. And Jalen Hurts was making awful decisions. So um, I'm glad, you know, Nick Sirianni was making decisions as a bonehead today. Um, and that resulted in the win. We were saying, you know, when we when we punted the ball away and gave Eagles the ball in the last drive, you and me were both saying this game was done. <laughs> yeah, we, we really did believe that. But then Sirianni was like, first of all, the defense held up, and then Sirianni also, I don't know what he was doing. Yeah, like, we we thought there was multiple games when we were, we went three and out, and we were like, yep, this defense, they've been gassed. But the defense stepped up, probably the best performance, probably not even the best, without a doubt, the best performance by the defense all year. Mm-hmm. Uh, Joe, let me get your last thought before I pop you in and get uh, Rob from Learning on Sports in here, man. It was great talking to you. Oh, Rob, man. Hey, long time no see. Haven't talked to you in a while. Hope you're doing good. Hope you had happy holidays and go Giants. Mm-hmm. Go Giants. Joe, right have here. a good one, man. Right up, right next. Here he is, man. What's up, bro? How you feeling? You're. What's up, Hub? You're. Ash Money, how you doing, man? What's going on, bro? Hope you're doing well. I'm good. I hey, shout out to Joel. I appreciate that, man. I hope you had a good holiday as well. Um, hope everybody had a good holiday. Yeah, I'm I'm happy. You know, we beat the Eagles, bro. That's all I wanted. We improved from last week somewhat, uh, offensively somewhat, but um, a win's a win. Can't can't take that away from us. A team that we have struggled to beat, and uh, it's good in our own stadium. Shut the Eagles fans up. Get Philly Notion a little upset. You know that's uh, <laughs> That's, this man was going crazy last night. Now <laughs> he was. He was. He was talking the talk. Thank you, sober party. Thank you for the compliment on the sweatshirt. Um, I'm. Yeah. I'm just happy, and it's. It's amazing what this team does to my mood. You know, last Monday I was feeling like crap because we lost. Now I'm feeling great. Um, so a lot of work to be done, but uh, I can't complain about a win, man. You know, I, I like. I like what I saw defensively. McKinney is a monster. Um. He, he needs that. Yo, everybody needs to vote this man into the Pro Bowl, bro. That's the yes. one player I'm really confident in that should get it. Get him into the Pro Bowl. Robinson stepped up. Darnay Holmes. Everyone stepped up, man. And I'm just – I'm ready to see what a fully healthy squad looks like on both sides of the ball because we have we don't have Tony. We, I think Rudolph was hurt too, if I'm not mistaken. Need Nate yes. Solder off the damn field. Um, but, man, I just – I like it. Get, get uh, go get another win next week. I'm I'm here in Florida. I'm around nothing but Dolphins fans. So if we get a W, oh, you're around the Dolphins area. Oh, yeah, no, bro. I, I'm in the South Florida area. It is not fun. Um, but when the Giants came to town, uh, about six years ago in 2015, it was it was all Giants fans, and that was a great so experience. Will you be at the at the Miami game this year or no? No, no. Unfortunately, I uh, forgot what day it was, and I didn't take the time off from work to do so. Mm. But um, I'll be. I'll be watching while working, so mm-hmm. hopefully we get a W there. But it just keep it going, man. Just like Joel was saying, you know, now we got some tape with uh, with Kitchens play calling. It wasn't perfect, but I mean, anything is better than what we were getting from Jason Garrett. We just got to put points on the board, take advantage of those turnovers. You you can't be giving us these heart attacks when you get when we take the ball away like four or five times today. We we took it away. No, actually five. If you kind of turn over on downs, it would be five turnovers technically. Oh, yeah, 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 we got to score off of those turnovers, man. That that this game would have been a blowout if if we had done that. But you know, it's 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 um it's going to be a process. But um, I like what I saw. We're getting Galladay involved, and for the first time this year, and you no, know, get Tony back. Get uh, hopefully Matt Pert in at right tackle, and just see what we got at mm-hmm. this point. Just 
And uh, Aiden Hutchinson, everyone's been talking about him, man. He would be a monster. I'm sorry, Ash Money, but. Oh, no, you fine. I've been saying Michigan been due to beat Ohio State for for a minute. They haven't beat Ohio State in 2011, so I wasn't really, um, wasn't really surprised. I, I would take that guy on our defense in a heartbeat. I think if we were able to land him and an offensive lineman, whether that be a center or right tackle, whatever it, whatever it is, that's a hell of a first round. But, um, you know, the rest of the schedule, man, I, I feel confident that we can get to seven wins, maybe even eight. You know, like I don't see a really? lot of yeah, I don't see a lot of games that are like that's an L. The, the only one that I really saw that was like a real realistic loss was the Tampa game. Mm-hmm. Right? Miami's beat. So you're like, not scared of the Chargers. You're not scared of Dallas. I'm never scared of Dallas, even though they beat us up a lot. You know, every division game to me is winnable. Mm-hmm. Um, no matter what year it is, because we always seem to. I mean, even earlier this year, the score looked like a blowout, but for a little while we were hanging with them until the injuries piled up. But I think every division game is winnable. The Chargers being on the road, I can see that being a loss because going to L.A., that would be difficult. But Chicago, Washington. And that's a back-to-back um, away as well because we're going to Miami and then we're going to the Chargers. Right. So that I, could eat, I can definitely see that being a loss. But if we finish with seven or eight wins, I mean, and the offense shows improvement week after week, I think we got to be excited about the direction considering how this season started. You know, it was looking bland. We were talking about being the, you know, having two picks in the top five, Mm -hmm. you know, so if we finish with seven wins, I'd I'd be okay with that, especially if the offense turns that corner and you can say, oh, let's move forward with Kitchens and Judge. And if a new GM is coming, then hopefully it's just um, someone that sees eye to eye with Joe Judge because it's clear at this point that Judge isn't going anywhere. Hmm. Hmm. No, I agree with you. I'm just saying I wouldn't jump on the gun of saying that there's no losses for the rest of the season yet because Miami, even though I do think they're probably due for a loss, they're they're still a team that's really turned their season around. Of course, the Chargers are no joke. Dallas is always going to be a tough battle, always division games, but I think we could win it. And you know, it's going to be at home. We then we face the Eagles again. No, I, we're going to sweep the Eagles. I'm confident in that. Then we got Chicago. <laughs> And listen, all I'm going to say is every single game I've attended for the Giants, they've won, and I'm attending the Week 18 game, so that's a W. All right, I've, I've every single game I've attended, the Giants have won. I don't think it's a coincidence. Hey, there you go. Just go to the rest of the home games then. What are you doing? <laughs> that's a lot of money, bro. Oh, there's only two more home games for the rest of the season, by the way. We got every- two back-to-back aways, and then it's just two home games. So, yeah. Well, you got to make your way to those two home games then so we can get some W. I'm going to try and get in the parking lot of the Dallas one. <laughs> if you've ever seen that movie called Big Fan where it's uh, the Giants fan, he just watches the game in the parking lot with his, with his buddy. And at the end, he shoots an Eagles fan with a paintball gun. It's actually Big pretty- Fan? What? No, I yeah. got to look at that. I got to look that up. <laughs> it's with uh, Pat and Oswald. It's a pretty funny movie. But, I didn't know um, there was movies that had like the Giants in them. No, it, I didn't. Even, I didn't even know it existed until a few years ago. But it was mm-hmm. uh, pretty interesting. But other than that, um, enjoy this win. Um, I think what does PT always say? We we got like a forty-eight hour period, you know, to get our celebration slash anger out, and then that's uh, on to Miami. So mm-hmm. I'm just mm-hmm. looking forward to that game and want to get another W. For sure, man. Thank you for calling in, Rob. Looking forward to next week. Have a good one, man. You too, man. And last but not least, the last caller for the night before I pack it in, because, you know, I did do a stream earlier today, so there's a lot of hours streaming, is BPS. What up, man? How you doing, bro? Yo, Ash, you take this one, bro. Ash, you take this one. The young fella BPS. The high-key Giants fan. How you doing? Not so good. (laughs) <laughs> oh, he's super quiet, man. Oh, man. I can barely hear you. Yo, why isn't it, why isn't your camera on, man? What, what color shirt do you have on, bro? Is it blue? It's white. It's white? Wow. Why don't you turn wow. on your camera and prove that? I know what my shirt color is. <laughs> All right. Sure, sure you do. Sure you do. Yeah, I'm, it was a terrible loss. Mm-hmm. Well, just get all your feelings out, man. This is a safe space. Yeah, um... It was a very 
like Eagles Giants type of game, like a slugfest. Mm-hmm. Uh, it kind of ended like a Eagles Giants game. Uh, honestly, I thought at the end we could have won because I saw on that crossover slant, Smith even knew he was open. He saw that he was open. Hertz didn't see him. He went to Rager, and that kind of cost us because if you went to Smith, Smith goes out of bounds and you stop the clock, and you would be down with like 15 seconds. And if he gets that first down, he gets out of bounds, you're at about the nine or eight, somewhere around there. So, Mm -hmm. yeah. And we could have won that game, but we kept shooting ourselves in the foot, man. But congrats to y'all. So how do you – how you how you feel about your franchise quarterback? Yeah, I, I still want to give him more time, but that was just a terrible game. Uh, That's all you got to say about Jalen Hurts? Terrible game. I mean, he still can't scan the field correctly. He doesn't know how to scan the field. Because mm-hmm. you saw on that play, and he loves to throw the ball to Smith. He didn't go to his favorite target, Devontae Smith. Mm-hmm. That could have won us the game right there. If you go to Smith, you get out of bounds, and you stop the clock, and then you're setting yourself up for a couple more plays with good amount of time to go. So I, I feel like I feel like it was more sort of him not scanning the field properly, and the Giants just great defensive football today. Great. Defensive I'm, football. So I I've joined Streamyard. Like I'm I've been on the stream from my phone, and the leave button. Is right next to the chat button, and every time I go to press the chat, I accidentally press the leave button because my fingers are too big. Yo, Ash is high key. I'm not gonna lie. High key Eagles Eagles fan. fan. You an Eagles fan, and and you call me a Giants fan. He just saying that because because you're a Giants fan. He be on a Giants fan stream. Man, I'm not a Giants fan. I want to hear this. He even called the Giants to win his first prediction, and then you know when Philly Nosha came around. Yeah, no, nah, I I switched it before that. I kind of yeah, some of his Eagles yeah. buddies. He wanted to, you know, fit in. He wanted to fit in with the crowd. Oh, so, my God. so, you know, BBS, hey man, he's been a Lions fan and a, and a Giants fan. Uh, he's been a Lions fan and Eagles. No, 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 not an Eagles fan. It, a Lions know, fan, a Giants it, fan, a Dallas fan, and a Washington know, fan. Because you know what they're coming up with this Lions thing because of various site, because big play site like BPS, you get it, big play site. Yeah, yeah, because big play site is not an Eagles thing. It's it's a Lions thing. It's not. It's not. It's not. What? It's a, big play site. No, I know that. Team. I know that. I'm saying right now, I was way up before. Before Slay even got here, I was an Eagles fan. Oh, you were a big Darius Slay fan? No, I was an Eagles fan. But you're saying before he got there, you were a big play Slay. What does that mean? No, I I didn't start my channel on, before, until uh, around the time. Uh, what was it? The Lakers won the chip around that. Oh, yeah, guys, for those of you that don't know, he's a bandwagon. No. Oh, man. Lakers fan, Dodgers fan. Oh, my God. Y'all Eagles love. Fan. I'm sure he became an Eagles fan the year they won the Super Bowl. Y'all love to throw narratives around there. <laughs> is it a narrative if it's true? Oh my god, that is crazy. Hey Ash, what what would you think about today? Because I know you had to say. Yeah, Ash been quiet. Yeah. Nah, I've been you know I well, I've been finishing up dinner, rabbit chime when I can, but um, not the the the, the defense was definitely the bright spot bright spot if, excuse me bright spot. Of this game, I mean, four turnovers, five if you include the turnover on downs. You know, I mean, what more can you expect out your defense? And I've always like, especially in this age of the NFL, I never want to rely on my defense to win us the game. That's just me. So literally, when you know your defense creates five turnovers and then you give the ball back to the Eagles. I'm going to think the defense is gas. I'm not going to have a lot of faith that they're going to stop these guys. But they did. Mm. And especially, they almost got two picks, to be honest, on that last drive with the Julian Love drop pick, Xavier McKinney drop oh, pick. Oh, he left. No, oh, he probably uh, laid down or something. We'll go but ahead, though. Continue. Continuing that, um, yeah, I never, I never – want to leave the fate of a win or a loss in a defense hands just because of how the NFL has changed. Um, mm-hmm. The offense, you know, there were some little things that looked better 
but you know, same, it was still, and it, granted, you're not going to see a lot of change um, uh, in between, you know, like in one week. You're not going to see a lot of change. Next week, we could see some big plays. We could see some uh, some more big changes, especially if we get to the Aries Tony back. And you know what the pass game opens up the run game if you get that going. So we're we're gonna see um Daniel Jones, he performed better, you know. You know, me personally, I would like to see us dominate the Eagles because there's been times where you know the Eagles have dominated us, like the the uh the, the year Victor Cruz got hurt, the game Victor Cruz got hurt, I think he got shut out that game. Mm-hmm. You know. Um, so, you know, it's always good to see the Eagles get dominated. But, you know, the Giants, we always take it down to the last minute. But it was a good win. Any any time we beat the Eagles, is a good win. Exactly. And shout out to uh, Rick in here as well. I don't have much up, else Rick? to add, man. I love the win. I love the defense. I love that we had a dominant performance against an offense that was having a great year and great couple of weeks in the league. Uh, there, there's a lot of things that I don't love about the offense, but I'm going to give them time and we'll see how it goes from here. But this defense brings a lot of hope back and this win brings a lot of hope back. We'll see where it goes. And it brings, it brings yeah, hope. I was just about to say, it brings hope for next year because let's say a lot of Giants fans do want Aiden Hutchinson or even even if we get, you know, another edge rush like Kayvon Thibodeau, right? And we get a bigger open and we get fixed offensive line. It brings hope for next year because we see how our secondary – is performing now with little to no passers some, at times. So imagine how they're gonna, how much uh, better they will be if we actually establish a pass rush. A lot of people mm-hmm. need to think about that. So you, you bring up a good point there. But I was going to say, I do have to end it here, though, guys. I've been streaming for basically like a combined maybe <laughs> four, six, four, five, or six hours now. I want to give everybody a big shout-out for tuning in. Thank you for Ash for hopping back on as well. You guys no make the channel no amazing and make me love doing this. But that's going to be it for now. Uh, it's I know it seems like an abrupt end, but I, I really got to go. I'm getting super tired. Ash, any last thoughts before we head out here? Yeah, thank you for having me back on. You know, it's always a good time when we when we do one of these streams. It's always good times and good laughs. So mm-hmm. uh, um, I appreciate you for having me on chat. I appreciate y'all for, you know, being here to support Hub as well. Because without y'all... These guys, the channel these don't exist. Creators, yeah, these content creators, they don't do what they do. So, um, big shout out to everybody. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, man, that's for now. We out. Peace.